We see a lot on the vitamin, 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 vitamin packages. <laughs> They've got the RDA, so the recommended daily amount. Um, is hitting that enough? Is hitting that recommended daily amount enough, or do you want to surpass that to some? It depends what degree? you're what you're wanting. So yeah. you've got the RDA. I, I call it the recommended to not die amount. Yeah. Right. So the recommended amount of vitamin C is to not get scurvy. Yeah. The amount of certain vitamin Bs, you don't get rickets, right? Mm -hmm. But that's that doesn't take into account of your training and also insult chemical insults, nutritional yeah. insults to your to your body that you're doing, right? Stress and things like that. So um yeah, so the RDA is definitely not a, not enough, yeah. right? And so that's why the, the majority of the things that we will tell people or advise people to get on will be much more, much higher powered. Yeah. Right? And so when you look, it's just, it's the same thing with doctors, right? You, you need doctors uh -huh. so, because in case you get in trouble, you don't die, mm -hmm. right? You get sick, you need a doctor, the sick care. Most doctors aren't healthcare unless you go into yeah. integrative nutri or integrative uh, and functional medicine. Those are more in tune for yeah. take your vitamins, take your minerals to prevent sickness yeah. and to improve your health. It's a totally different uh, viewpoint on that, yeah. right? So surpassing so those RDAs, though, you do need to be careful of which minerals and vitamins that you surpass and by how much, because obviously there's mm -hmm. going to be a point where it's too much. Yeah, we know there's always too much of everything. So see, I, you know, typically the the ones you have to really watch out for are the fat soluble vitamins. Okay. okay. So, um, but like vitamin A is a big one, and there's different forms. That's the the reason it's. it's you really need to know, you really need to talk to somebody who knows what they're doing. Like there's a big difference between beta carotenes with retinal palmitate and things like that. Yeah. Right? Um, fat soluble vitamin C versus ascorbic acid versus yeah. mineral ascorbates, you know, uh, thiamine B1 versus benthylthiamine. And they all do different things such as if I have somebody that comes in and they're making tons of lactate and they have metabolic acidosis and they have low energy yeah. and they're insulin resistant, I'm going to give them benthylthiamine because to create energy, you need that B1 to get into the cell. Mm -hmm. well, fat soluble B1 has a, has a difficult time getting in the cell, whereas benfothiamine will go right into the cell. And yeah. So it's a very important that you you go to yeah. somebody who actually knows what they're talking yeah. about instead of you know the, the majority of people, which they're yeah. just they just parrot off stuff that they've read. Yeah. So you should you shouldn't look at hitting just your RDAs, but if you're going to look at surpassing them, you should know what you're doing or have someone on your team that does. Correct. So like, look. Good basic multivitamin, multimineral, something yeah. from like Thorn or Metagenics, perfect. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be really difficult to mess yourself up with that. Some extra zinc, some extra magnesium, a little, couple of grams of fish oil. Um, you know, vitamin D is a big one. Yeah. You know, a lot of these are pretty safe and benign if you take reasonable dosages. Yeah. When you start taking unreasonable dosages, you can really set yourself yeah. to mess yourself up. So you need to make sure that the information you're getting is somebody you really trust and knows what they're doing.